I'm not going to lie. If I did have children, I'd be buying these then. All of them. I might buy it for myself then right around the house. I might get committed though. What is going on everybody? So, it is Sunday, the 25th. You know what that means. It's uh, Mutant Mayhem time. And maybe some Indiana Jones action too. Time will tell on that front. But uh, I've cheated this time. Uh, hopefully some of you took advantage of the uh, Instagram last night at 3 a.m. Thank you, Bladder, for having me get up and uh, putting all those links up for all the NECA stuff and all the Mutant Mayhem stuff. But uh, I did in-store pickup at uh, Deerfield just in case we don't have any luck here. But with me today, I got Mr. Seth. And we got the little one as well, too. Ha-ha. <laughs> so we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into, what kind of goods we can find. All right, so we've made it inside. I'm going to swing around the other way because uh, Seth is on this side. We're going to swing around. All right. Um, they don't have anything. No mute mayhem, nothing on the shelf whatsoever. They got some turtle action. They got the uh, the baddies pack, but they don't have any of what we wanted. Not this morning. Thank God for in-store pickups. I'm just, uh, I'm quiet because kind of stinks. Street dated for the 25th, nothing on the shelf. I did scan it at the barcode machine and it says they have them in stock, but I already have, uh, like I said, in-store pickup on them. So I'm really not too worried about that. And uh, all right, we're gonna maybe go down there, see if there's anything over by the neck of stuff, but I don't think so. All right, guys, we will pick this up at the next stop. All right, we swung over on this side and they really don't have much. It was already uh, predicted I asked him if we're finding turtles, and he said no. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. These are new, though. He found like, what you wanted. I got him already, but we just seen him again in stores. Actually, the first time I actually seen him in stores, which is kind of cool. Hey, which one are you missing? The new ones from the new movie coming out. They got a new cartoon coming out. All right, so same stuff, nothing new. Hopefully uh, next time around, next spot, we'll get some luck. Okay, so we're here. This is the target that I cheated and I have my in-store pickup at. Hopefully, me and Seth were talking before, it'd be nice to just see an end cap. Nice little POP for this mutant mayhem stuff. Little shelf action, some turtles, some everything. It's it's true what they say, cheaters do prosper. They Cheater. do, they do. I didn't really cheat. Cheated. I was up because of my bladder early in the morning and everything was on their site. So we attacked. All right, guys. So we will see. Hopefully they're on the shelf. If not, we know we're definitely walking out with turtles. Tar All right. So we made it inside. Grab the little cards. Let Jakey grab a pack to see uh, what kind of goodies we can get. It's not looking like uh, we got anything on caps yet, but we're going to see. Sorry. Super ultimate close up. All right, so looking like the typical old normalcy. Yeah, no indies. Indies they have, but not the indies they want. We were just talking about how they should make that in the big set and then make Sean Connery and then an indie and put them together in there. I was really hoping we get some mutant mayhem like on the ends because I really want some of those mystery minis, but uh, it's not freaking looking like that today. Looks like it's still all Star Wars and all this other stuff, so hopefully uh, at some point today we could find uh, something. An actual uh, target end cap with uh, turtle action. Probably going to be there in the next, like, four days or something like that, but uh, like I said, we did the in-store pickup. We're gonna swing over there, obviously, to grab them because, uh, unfortunately, it's uh, somebody over there. A little lackluster of a hunt. 
on time delivery guaranteed. It says, Well, we got lucky. All right, so we got another look at this man, another man, myth, and the legend behind me. It's I'm inside the screen now. Look at yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not even like, I was thinking of you yeah, the other day too, and I think about the videos. If I just shot like this, it would only be like your head. If I stayed in it, it would just be like your body. <laughs> and that would be it. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> It'd be just a, like a running gag going like that. But like I said, I kind of cheated. Why isn't it spinning? So, like this man keeps breaking my ball. Okay? I keep saying I cheated. But Cheater. It is. Here we go. We got all the turtles. All four brothers. I'll pull them out in the car. And we got the party wagon. The pizza fire van. Is it now called? And it, says right, likes to say. and it says right there, on time delivery guaranteed with pizza launching yeah. action. So, so far so good. All right, so I made it inside Target, and still, unfortunately, no Mutant Mayhem and actual stuff on the shelves. They got the Giant Leos. We're not getting those. We need two more of these to finish the set, but they got a whole case of these, minus two here. So I think we're taking all these here as well, too. And uh, itty bitty pops. Itty bitty pops. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, no Mutant Mayhem. Not on the shelf, at least. They have them in their back room somewhere, but... Can't show you guys any of that, but we did see uh, those guys, which is kind of cool. So, don't need another display. Not going to be mean, but I am taking pretty much all of these and two of those. And uh, we're getting the hell out of here. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so finally found the mutant mayhem. That's a pretty cool set. They got the Leos. They got the Mutators. They got a little bit of everything going on up here. Grab a Mikey, grab a Leo, grabbing one of each of those guys. No, uh, Raphael's. I don't know if I want that or not. That's really cool though. It's the only way you get in April as of right now. But I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on that. I think I'm going to pass on that. They got the mystery minis too. And some of those guys. Some Batman action. Same old stuff for Marvel. Nothing too new or exciting going on over here. Indiana Jones, nothing we're looking for. But uh, we got some mutant mayhem action. Pretty darn cool. So we're grabbing these bad boys and we're getting the heck out of here. That Leo's pretty cool too. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys on the next round. All right, so the mutant mayhem has landed everywhere. We were at my normal target, trying to see what kind of goodies they got. They got Raph. Definitely grabbing a Raph. Trying to see what other kind of goodies they got. So they definitely have some of the little guys. We got Donnie and Leo Tots. We got a Rocksteady. Bebop. Fly Guy. Leatherhead. Should've got a freaking cart. And uh, doesn't look like they got the other tots. So there's going to be some more uh, snooping around for those. You got Splinter. You got Raph. You got Leo. You got two of those nightmarish things. And uh, I got to find a basket. I got to find a basket. I'm not going to lie. If I did have children, I'd be buying these then. All of them. I might buy it for myself to run around the house. I might get committed though. These guys are talking. I am not pulling the tag. They got a couple of the giants. Leg articulation. I don't think they got anything though for the uh, arms. We're not getting the big boys though. They got the mutators. Um, yeah. But uh, that's pretty much it. We might do some snooping down there too. I don't think anybody's grabbing those. My luck, they'll be gone when I come around the corner. Nothing too exciting over here. Kind of happy with what I found. I don't think I need to do 
much more if anything i take all that back I take all that back all that back no foot soldier all right we're grabbing those guys and i will see you guys later random finding electronic section i don't know they got the halloween they got the uh predator light up mask and then this guy nightmare spawn it's first time seeing that i ain't gonna lie man i think it's pretty freaking sick i love me some spawn that was my deal back in the day especially collecting comics even the movie all right we're getting these and we're out and we're out and we're out all right so i'm still in the same target and uh seeing the mute mayhem made me lose my mind and i really did not check extremely well but they have a random indie this is looking like it's from the uh, dial destiny which it is so we got some old indie action i don't know if Seth needs this one or not i can't remember what he picked up at bits but uh if he doesn't need that i'm gonna keep that if he needs it it's his and um uh, we are officially leaving until we go to another target bye he's still there kevin nash hanging out at walmart all right here we go mutant mayhem time yes all right i was really really contemplating not coming here and i am so thrilled that i did all right they got mutant mayhem up the wazoo that is my new word for the day I'm trying to go into adult mode and not curse every five seconds like I normally do. But they got really cool stuff. They got everything that we already have, which is awesome, except for that pack, which we're grabbing right now. Which I'm thrilled about. They got Splinter, which in my opinion is awesome that it is. What's his name? Don't tell me that's the only Splinter that they got, because that one's kind of messed up, and I don't like that one. We got tons of the guys, tons and tons of the guys. Don't tell me that the splinters are like short packed because that would really suck. And that's unfortunately kind of like how it's looking right now, guys. I'm not too thrilled about that. Tons of turtles. All right, we're gonna have to do uh, some digging and see if they got what we want hidden anywhere. But they definitely got these sets. Oh, but you're fucking sweet in person. Absolutely sweet in person. So we're obviously grabbing two of these. One for inbox, one for out of box. Because I'm an idiot. And that's how I still roll. And uh, those are the talking ones. I don't know if they do anything. Why not? I'm gonna do some quick off-camera digging to see if uh, there's any splinters, and then uh, we're gonna go from there. But I don't think there are. Sucks. All right, guys, give me a minute. All right, so more turtle action. Um, they didn't have any more splinters, so we are not getting that one. He's a little banged up. I do already have one. I want a kid to be able to get one. Oh wow. It's kind of cool seeing that here. I thought that was like an Amazon one. That is Superman as Batman. Uh, I don't think they got Axe Wolves, Grand Inquisitor. So Walmart's actually uh, pretty good, but not good at the same time that makes any sort of sense because to me it doesn't and i said it all right we're gonna do uh just get a little bit of uh snoovin if we can find anything hidden that's definitely not heat wave definitely not heat wave all right but we are beyond stoked to have these guys in hand and uh we're moving on so i will see you guys in a little while what is up everybody so off of work stopping off at target one target and we're done today thank the lord get to go home chill i am redoing my room again so that's happening yeah 
Also, Seth, you're awesome. We're about to get, we need two turtles. Really a splinter and a tiny tot, turtle tots. We're getting the turtle tots. He had two for us because I didn't remember which one I needed. That's very sad. That's when you buy way too much crap. I love the fact that these things are like $9.99. I really don't feel bad buying them. I do and I don't, but it's it's awesome. It's so cool. I, I don't know, whatever. I love this $9.99 price point. I love everything about this line. They're different, they're fresh. It's a new take on the turtles. I really love it. I really hope the movie doesn't suck because there's, I got high expectations for this line. I just hope it keeps going. I like the uh, figure molds. The baddies are honestly starting to grow on me. As you guys saw, I did purchase them moments earlier. This video was shot over the course of a week and a half. That's all I've been doing. Yep, I'm bad. I'm bad, 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 bad. Also, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna grab these guys. Seth hit them for us. We're gonna take the one we need and we're gonna put the one we don't need back on the shelf because we are not that kind of toy collector. I have also heard some rumblings in some of the groups that these toys are for children. What that we collect is not technically for children, is what I'd like to say. No, it's probably an unpopular opinion, but we collect child's toys. They are collectibles. They are made for children. We're grown ass children. I have no issue with that at all. Hot toys are expensive children's toys. They are just very expensive action figures. Just better articulated. Sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes better sculpts, sometimes not. I don't know where I'm going with this, but uh, yeah. Let me know what you feel about that right there, huh? What we'll grind your gears, people? Did that grind your gears? I hope not. If it did, I kind of apologize. Also, no also, we're going to Target. We're gonna get the turtles. It's been a long day of work. It's been a long week. I am done. I am spent. I'm rambling. I really don't know how much of this is gonna make it. I really might redo this. Not 100% sure yet. Only time shall tell. All right, so that was a hiding spot. I'm sorry, but I dug them out already without even thinking to record it. And there we go. We got the little guys. We got the little tots. There we go. We got Raffi and Mikey, which are the two that are coming home with us. They got Leo and Donnie. I think that uh, I'm actually taking both again. I'm going to open those bad boys up. I kind of like those. Other than that, uh, not much else to report. And we're getting out of here, and I'll see you guys in the hall review. What's going on, everybody? So, here we are. The end of the Mutant Mayhem Hall. This was a fun one. A long one. Mm, July 25th, I think these toys dropped. Saturday. Me and Seth went out looking. I purchased, obviously, five things online. The Party Wagon. The Four Brothers. Which, in hindsight, now, was awesome. Move. Because that first day, we found nothing other than those which I ordered, and then as the weeks progressed, I hit mother load after mother load after mother load on these things. Target was rocking and stocking these bad boys, and I uh, cleaned up today at uh, Walmart. Finished up with the uh, last of the sets that I wanted to get. The only one that slipped through the cracks because I really thought there was going to be a single April was that uh, four or five six pack that Target had with... Uh, the oozed up uh, Rocksteady, and of course April. So that's, uh, I guess, still on the hunt list. I think it's still available on Target.com. I'll have to check this out after I do this video, tell you the truth, and maybe snag one of those because uh, it's the only one I'm missing, April, at the moment. But this was fun. Saturday, I got to hang out with Seth, a little popping, which is always a blast. Uh, we went to Bits and Buns, some other spots, but didn't make uh, the cut of this video. This is going to be all just uh, mutant mayhem for the most part. And then um, I'm going to do a regular hunt video of such, possibly, in the time to come. Because if you could tell from the backdrop behind me, I've been doing some stuff. A little bit of things here and there. Um, hated the original setup that I had. Did not turn out to be at all the way I wanted it to. Um, thought I planned it well, didn't come out well. This is more so kind of what I was shooting for. And it happened. And it came through. Um, a little help from uh, OG. Said that he used this kind of setup when he was doing a few of the toy shows. It said that the Hot Toys fit in there 
nicely as you can see right there I have a couple that you guys probably haven't seen before but those have been here for a hot minute don't know why I use that I apologize that is a stupid term and I showed my age speaking of showing my age I saw this while setting up and I found it quite funny as you could kind of see already as I was doing it all right relatively young looking To a ghoul within a matter of seconds. You gotta love lighting. Um, lost my train of thought now. That's how bad that was. But yeah, Hot Toys, OG, awesome setup. Use these things for the um, toy shows. But the only thing that doesn't fit on these things is any of the NECA stuff. Any other giant figures do not fit on these shelves, which absolutely sucks. So the OG Turtles, as well as Mr. Michael Keaton, who's hiding off screen at the moment, do not fit. So I have to devise some shelving or something, possibly for these guys to uh, finally finish uh, the setup. Please don't fall now. Because um, we saw that they just released the pre-order for the final of Toon Brothers Mikey. So that is awesome. Got all four movie turtles. We'll have all four of the cartoon turtles. And I just need a shelf. I'm going to give you guys a real room tour very soon. I'm like 65 to 70% to where I wanted to be. I got to finish putting some stuff in here. You guys saw a little tease of the um, foot soldier madness. I thought I had more foot soldiers. I found two more foot soldiers in the storage unit, which is very sad because I really thought that I had more. So I got one for foot soldiers. I don't need money more. I think like maybe four or five, and I'll be complete. I did find some Mausers, which I'm also about. I actually bought 10 packs when they had them on the NECA site, which, uh, yeah, I'm a bit crazy. But there's a method to my madness, people. I'm going to give you a quick tease just to possibly let you know what's kind of going on up there. And that's it for a second. Now we're going back to normal. But the Mausers and the Foot Soldiers had a purpose from day one. Kind of coming to my vision up there. Hasn't fully hit it yet. I got the Mausers. That's why I said I'm like 65-70%. Uh, I put up a little video in the storage unit today. Lights went off. Not once, but twice. I'll be well in there. That was a ton of fun. Dug out a lot of stuff that I didn't know I had. And um, stuff that I was looking for to try and finish this setup. And then some sort of... Uh, shelf somewhere that I feel will be safe for the giant turtles and uh, I don't know what else, paint some pictures and stuff and that will pretty much be it and that will be content, I figured out these lights for here, which are kind of cool they're magnetic I like them we'll see how well they turn out when we're done um, but yeah, it's been fun, that's what I've been up to lots of stuff from Comic Con dropping I've not put anything up for you guys. I totally apologize. Like I said, I've been busy work, this, that, the other, no excuses. But yeah, that's what's going on. So there's lots of uh, bombardment of information coming your way quite shortly. There's been no pre orders for any of this stuff, so there's really nothing to really worry about. Um, but yeah, Mute Mayhem and Vintage Awesomeness. Vintage re release awesomeness, I guess. Um, I gotta use, stop using um. We're gonna start off with the vintage stuff. They had the mutating big boys, Leo, which is totally cool. I love the vintage packaging, all the goodies from back in the day. Same accessories, same everything, same, it's it. Raphael as well too, was part of this. I've seen Donnie and Mikey. I don't know if they're out yet or if people found them, but they're maybe been a listing of them on there so that's really cool to find those we finished up the haul today with this which is I don't care I think it's awesome I've honestly seen people in some of the groups saying how these are kids toys and I totally agree but what behind me is not a kids toy that's what we collect they're kids toys toys from our childhood, re-releases or recreations of stuff from our childhood if we were kids and we had the money that we have now, we'd have a ton of shit but we're just grown kids with grown money and it's fun to do what you want to do with your stuff so 
we have kids toys and we love it beach bum mikey calabunga dudes astronaut ralph one giant leap for mutant kind donnie is spock live long and prosper and calabunga leo cowboy leo i'm sorry the sewer ain't big enough for the both of us i realize you guys are reading everything backwards and you can get the ring light in your picture but there's the back you know that's what i was reading <clears throat> Again, these are cool. They've had each one of these figures in the past in each one of these versions. Some of these guys are different versions of what they were, meaning Mikey might not have been this guy, the beach bum. Leo might not have been the cowboy. We know for a fact that Rafa was the cat astronaut. And I don't remember if it was Donnie or Leo that was uh, Spock. It's probably Donnie if it was Spock, because I would see Leo being Kirk. Donnie would be a Spock. But these are awesome. I'm going to crack open one of the two packs that I bought I get these somewhere behind us eventually alright so for Target I got these because I think they're cute I really don't give a crap what anybody thinks I bought them I like them they're one of the few things that I still see left on any of the Target displays when I go because most of the Target displays are wiped clean of all the mayhem stuff which I think is awesome I think it's awesome that it's getting into the hands of us. I think it's awesome that kids are probably getting a lot of these things, which is even more exciting. And when the Walmart shippers hit, they got a ton of shit too. So that's going to be fun. I think Splinter is definitely short. <clears throat> Excuse me, cased. However you want to say it. <clears throat> God, I'm losing my freaking... Blah. But uh, the one that I found today was pretty banged up. I should have got him because... Then I wouldn't have to really look for anything else, but I'm just—I'm sure when the ones by us get them, I'll hopefully be able to find another one. Um, it looked like there might have been one or two in there, to tell you the truth. If not, the one. Uh, but that's pretty much it. These are Mattel creations. Little people, collectors, that I guess they're okay with that terminology. Not me. That's what it says on the box, people. Please do not cancel me. Not that there's many to cancel. Now, this was one of the two pretty much packs I was really looking for. I think everything about this is cool. They glow in the dark. It is the making of a ninja kind of deal. All glow in the dark, like I said. Baby turtle, turtle tot, ninja turtle. All right there. They have Raph. They have Leonardo. All the same. Excuse me. And they're freaking cool. And of course, no turtle haul will be complete without a party wagon. And of course, we snagged one of these bad boys. So we got the knockoff Arsenal one up there. New Mayhem. Vintage I actually left in the uh, storage unit today now that I think about it. Damn it. And then... Um, That couldn't Super 7. Those are on the way. Sometime within the next two years. Who the hell actually knows? Only time will tell, and I don't care. Because I know they're going to be cool. And I'm willing to wait. Let's move on. Splinter. Really cool. Really dig everything about it. The more and more I look at him, the more and more I see Jackie Chan. And if I think of any actor out there that has the worthiness, the martial art integrity and skill to train the turtles and to be Master Splinter, it would be Jackie Chan. And I challenge you in the comments to think of a better person alive, of course, to uh, take up that role. I challenge you, because there's not. Jackie Chan is the man and kicks ass and is nice and is cool and is honorable and that's it. Michelangelo. These figures, honestly, are just freaking cool looking. They're a fresh take. I love the art. I love the style. There's nothing about these that don't just scream turtles and don't scream cool. There's just a cool fresh take and I really like that about that. They didn't try and be something that we already had 
they tried being their own thing and doing their own take but giving us the turtles that's Michelangelo I love that look I love everything about it I love that art look it's like a very weird version of Into the Spider-Verse I guess why not Raphael these guys too have bio cards I'll go back to Mikey in a second Raphael likes to break things not surprising in fact his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard they throw up but beneath his hard head and tough exterior is a sensitive turtle just looking for someone to talk to weapons twin side dream to be a mixed martial arts fighter so that's cool I'm going to go back to these guys we're going to do these do them in order Rat Dad slash Sensei. Splinter is coping with the fact that his four sons are growing up. He's made a wonderful sorrow home for his family, but now his sons need independence, and New York needs his sons. Weapons, walking stick sword, dream to protect his sons. Aw. Jackie Chan, baby. Love the heart, love everything about it. Michelangelo. Mikey's the comedian. Too bad his brothers don't think he's that funny. He might not be the best at ninjutsu or walking up on time, or waking up on time, or even hygiene, but you can always count on Mikey's positive attitude. Weapons, nunchuck. Dream to be a stand up comedian. I'm gonna go full movie phone on these for you guys. You can't stop me, because I am doing it. Alright, here we go, Leah. <clears throat> Leo's the leader. Well, he wants to be. His dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime-fighting team. What if no one takes him seriously? Oh, so what if no one takes him seriously? Weapons Twin Katana dreams to be a fearless leader. I am in no way ready for any sort of voice acting or anything. Did any of these have that weird thing I saw on the bottom? No. All right, we're going to keep going, guys. We're having fun with this. Why not? All right, so here we go. We got Turtle Tot Leo, Turtle Tot Donnie. Turtle Tot Leo. Leo was born to lead. His dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime-fighting team. But he's not. He's got a long way before he can fully call his shots. When I grow up, future leader. Favorite color, blue. Turtle Tot Donnie. Donnie was born brilliant. When his brother's adventures get the boys in trouble, it's Donnie's brain and his bright ideas that save the day. When I grow up, future genius, favorite color, purple. Now we got Donnie. Donatello is devastatingly smart, and he's not afraid to let you know it. When his tech, well, blah, blah, blah. When his intellectual self-assurance may come across as arrogance, but it's just that his brain is thinking so many steps ahead that it's paralyzed with indecision. Both staff dream to be a game developer by day, K-pop star by night. Interesting take on Donatello. Okay. K-pop in the future of these guys, I guess. This was one of the figures I was saying, hey, it's got something weird on the bottom. So I guess his arm pops off for whatever reason. I haven't taken them out yet. Maybe they had to do that to get him in the box. Where is his arm? Yeah, they had to do that to get him in the box. That's why they did that. That's the only reason, packaging-wise. Get him in the box. And I'm holding my hands on here. Can you guys see him? Okay. There you go. Rocksteady. Built like a tank. Rocksteady is pure mutant muscle. Whether it's from his fist or his horns, you do not want to take a hit from this guy. He and Bebop make a dangerous duo, but their brains aren't what some may consider small, even for morons. Oh, but their brains are what some may consider small, even for morons. It's kind of like the guy reading this card. Very sad. Mutant Menace Meter. They get three. So that's kind of cool. That's how they... The other guys had whatchamacallits. They have meters on how bad these guys are. So they're a three-star one. Three-container one. Let's see which ones of these aren't three containers. Leatherhead. Leather is proud to be a mutant and all on Superfly's... All in on Superfly's plan to make more of them. 
Uh, they are down for causing destruction and mayhem, especially if it gets, especially if it's means getting them a few big booms. Okay, I'm not reading these stupid things anymore. I'm losing interest this quickly. Did we do the other turtle tots? Turtle tot, Raph, turtle tot, Mikey. Very cool. I got tired of listening to myself speak. And I'm sure you guys have at this point in time too. Superfly. Ooh, Superfly is the uh, definitely the baddie of this movie. Everybody else has been uh, three mutagen meters on the mutant menace meter. This guy has five. So he's the uh, all around baddie. We'll go with the uh, shredder of this movie, I'm going to say. Yeah, because everybody else has been three. Bebop, Warthog, three cans. That's all he got, three cans. I think that's everything from this uh, from this haul. So this was a lot of fun. Nah, I can't lie. I had a lot of fun tracking these guys down. These figures are super cool. They're such a clean look. Totally different take. I really like them. I know there's some hate out there for them, but uh, I really don't care. I like them. Like what I got. Only missing the uh, April one at the moment, which is that six pack. So we'll see how that goes. New setup. Happy to have this go. It's raining outside now, so this is going to continue to be a fun day. And uh, yeah. Oh, wait. We're super fly. One of his wings is off, so he's the other one that has that on the bottom. It shows the wings separate, so if you got kiddos and you buy these for them, just be aware that uh, those two figures pieces pop off easily, meant to pop off. So don't give them to young ones that put things in their mouth and swallow them. Now you know, G.I. Joe. So that's pretty much it, though. Had fun again with Seth. I will put the link in my video for his videos. Please go check him out. Um, looking forward to this movie coming up soon. I think uh, August 23rd, 24th, 25th, something like that, is when the uh, Mutant Mayhem drops, so I'm excited to go see that. And um, So, that's about it. Excited for the movie, like I was saying. And uh, who knows what else is out there. Nothing exciting, really. Only this Comic-Con stuff coming out, which uh, I will definitely be dropping on Instagram. So definitely, if you guys are new, when you're watching this for the first time, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've been watching, I have an Instagram. Go over there and give that a whirl as well, too, because that's where I put all the uh, random stuff I come across for you guys and for myself so I don't forget. And I can go back myself and use those links to purchase stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, again, thank you guys for watching, for putting up with my crap, listening to me blab on about turtles for the last 20 plus minutes, and all in all, just have some fun with you. So, hopefully you enjoyed. I have no idea why I just ran out of gas for some reason on the end of this, but that's pretty much it, and I keep tapping this thing. I replayed the video, and I heard it, and it drives me crazy, and I apologize for that, so I'm not doing that again. I'm making sure I don't leave anything on this table that I could tap, and that's pretty much it, so... Again, if you guys are new, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you think of a better Master Splinter, let me know. It has to be live. It has to be live. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Ta